What's up troopers, my name is Neon and today I'm going to be showing you the best class setup. I'm going to be showing off a couple of nice weapons for you. I'm going to be showing off four weapons. But the thing is, there's plenty of weapons I can show off for best loadout, setups, all that. But you have to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more weapon class setups. And if you enjoy this video and it actually does help you, just leave a like. Simple as. So I'm going to be showing you guys from assault rifle, SMG, the tactical rifles and the sniper rifles. So let's crack into it. Okay, so this is honestly my favorite weapon in the game. I absolutely love it. If you actually see me play this, me using this gun, I feel like I have no recall at all. I do use the wildcard gunfire. This is honestly awesome. It just is so it gives you so many opportunities to have so many different attachments onto your weapon. So this is the site I've been using. I honestly do mess about with different sites, but I really like this site a lot. I don't know. I just feel like it's just so much more open and it just you see so many more enemies. So if you see someone on the side of you, you can flick to them and just snap straight onto them. The muzzle, I use this suppressor right here. It takes you away from the map 100%. So you literally, if you're shooting, no one's going to see you on the map at all. The recoil on this is up to 15%, but you do lose 25% from damage at range. But trust me, that 25% is going to go a lot more up. Trust me. Because with the barrel, you actually have an increased damage at range by 18%, but the muzzle velocity is up to 80%. And the laser I use on this one, I use the standard because I didn't want any cons with this one. There is a couple of different ones, but I feel like this was the right one for this weapon. So 20% of hit fire accuracy. And this is where your recoil control just gets so much more better. Both of the recoil on here is up to 6% to 20%. And that is literally going to help you out so much with this weapon to control the recoil. With the magazine, I use this magazine right here. This gives you 40 rounds magazine. You do lose 10% reloading time. But how quick and fast this gun shoots, you can melt so many enemies down. And this is definitely the one for it. Sometimes I do switch to fast mags, but I do prefer having the extra 10 round bullets. You really could go for this one here if you wanted to, to get the extra 50 round mag. But the problem is you lose that reload speed by 10% and aiming speed and the thing is this gun the the way how I'm doing it you're you're aiming so quick really quick so don't lose any more aiming speed so literally the 40 round drum mag is the way to go this is kind of a given I feel like most people use this one 15% aiming speed you did lose an aiming speed on one of the attachments and I think it was like 8% something like that so 15% aiming speed that's a lot more faster aiming in and then you have your aim flinch stability by 80% so any type of engagement you get into you're really going to control that recoil and this weapon is all about recoil control because how fast this gun fires this is literally a dominant weapon and with stock, I use the sliding speed. I haven't really messed about with it as much. There's a lot of different ones. So maybe down the line with another weapon video of the MP5, this might change. So I just use the sliding speed by 5% because I slide a lot in this game. And the next weapon is the XM4. This is the attachment I use for this one. As the MP5, I did use this sight, but this was literally the one I really liked the most. I feel like I was engaging far distance on enemies and actually just winning it and just having that really good recoil control. As you can tell by now, I'm more fascinated from the recoil control. Better recoil, the better experience of the gunfight you have. The muzzle is pretty much the same one. It's always the bottom one. This obviously reduces you on the radar completely. The recoil is up by 10%. You do lose a muzzle velocity by 25%, but trust me, we're gonna bring that back up. And as I just said about muzzle velocity, you bring it straight back up by 40%. You get 100% damage by range. And that is the way to actually fight against enemies a lot more further distance. The laser, there's so many different cons with it. So I just like using the standard 20% hit fire accuracy. So there's no cons with it. And the grip, this is the best grip for me. I feel like it's just definitely the best way for it. I did use this one at one point, but the problem is, as you can see, the speed has dropped by so much. So I just feel like just don't mess about with it too much and just use this one. 
you'll slowly start seeing the pattern 40 mag this is the way for it the only con with this gun is you just lose 10 percent reload speed but if you're in a good position good cover then you can reload anyone pushes you you can just get that pistol out 10 percent is really not a bad con for reload speed a handle aim and speed by 15 percent and aim flinch stability is up by 80 percent and now that is when you're definitely going to be winning a lot against gunfights and far distance because you're the one who's going to be handling that recoil control a lot more easier against enemies who are further away and stock i like using sprint out speed because when i'm trying to run through the middle obviously i'm sliding so if i do engage with an enemy i am a lot more ready when i see him and now with the sniper rifle i have messed about with the sniper rifle a bit i sometimes i use this sight but i like using just the normal default sight i think everyone does i feel like default sight is the best for you so you have more opportunities for attachments the muzzle i use this obviously to help you out with your sway and your control barrel yes you do lose 15 percent of that sway in a close quarter combat fire rate is definitely the way to go grip this is the same grip I had from the last weapon, so this is the one right here. Magazine, same thing as usual, 7 round mag, the only problem is you have a minus 10% reload speed. But with a sniper like this, you know what I mean, you're not going to be like right at people, so you've got plenty of time to take cover, reload and get back in the action. And with handle, you had to use this one, with snipers aiming in quicker is so important, especially in then close engagements. So 10% aiming speed is definitely the way to go. Now is the Type 63. I used the Optic two times. I don't know what's up with the Optic two times. For some reason, it just feels like there's zero recoil at all. It really is. But with the attachments I have, this gun just feels like a laser beam. In the beta and the alpha, it was really OP. So this gun has never disappointed me since. And it still hasn't to this day. This is when the recoil control slowly starts creeping up and starts improving a lot more. Obviously, reduce yourself from the minimap completely so you can get them flanks from long distance flanks so no one can see where you're at. You do lose a 25% muscle velocity, but don't worry, we'll bring that straight back up. Barrel, come on. Fire rate is important for this gun. The quicker you can fire, the better accuracy of recoil control you can do. Then you can just dink so many enemies in front of you. So 10% fire rate is a big increase. With the laser, I use 20% hit fire accuracy, just in case anyone comes up to you really close. Grip, as I said, I was going to bring back that muscle velocity a lot more higher up. And this attachment here is what makes this gun so crazy with the recoil control. It doesn't feel like it's even moving. Trust me, if you use that right sight, it's so good. Magazine on this one, I don't use the 30 round mag. I actually feel like having a 20% reload speed is definitely the way to go for this one. With the handle, aim and speed by 20% and aim flinch by 80%. And you only lose 5% sprint out speed. So this is a really good one. And right at the end of stock, shooting movement speed by 10%, aim and movement speed by 50%. And you only lose 15% of hit fire accuracy. But really, this gun, you're not hit firing a lot. There you go. That's all the weapons right there. I've only shut off four this one. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's completely free. So it's not going to hurt anyone. Support the little creator right here. Come on, help me grow. I would have really appreciate that. And if this video did help you, just leave a thumbs up. Simple as. I'm going to have plenty of weapon class setups for you guys in the future. While I play this game a lot more and just understand the best weapons and i will go a lot more in depth and i won't just do the weapon attachments i try to do with the pistols i do with the perks i do so much more to help you guys get the perfect class setup but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe to be a part of the pink army and i'll see you next time troopers take it easy